Hey YouTube, and welcome to a new type of video on my channel, and that is a storytelling video. Now, I've been wanting to make a storytelling video and series for a while now, but I've never really known where to start. Just the past week, uh, a hilarious thing happened at my school, and I just felt that I had to share what happened. So like I said, about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago. this thing happened. So before I get into the depths of the story, I guess I should probably give you guys a little bit of a background. Uh, not too long, but just enough so you kind of understand what's going on. Uh, so basically, there's 120 kids in my grade, and it is a gifted program. So essentially, everybody who got in had to test in and get really high scores on their tests, and they had to do really well in school. But the thing is, there's this thing called the tier system, which essentially boosts the scores of people who lived in like impoverished neighborhood neighborhoods so they can like get into the school easier uh so a lot of these stories that i'm going to be making are about those kids who got their test scores boosted because to be honest a lot of them are pretty crazy so anyways let's just get into the story it was a sunny night and all the polar bears were in hibernation no i'm just kidding okay let's actually start the story so first let's just call a kid in the story frank the story starts in third period Spanish class when we have a sub. So Frank sits down in the back corner of class, which is the farthest away from where the teacher sits. So right by Frank, in the back corner of class, there's this old kind of chair thing. It's broken, like the chair kind of broke off of the desk, but it's still kind of clinging on. Uh, it's kind of like an old, wore down, worn down desk. I, I can't really describe it, but anyways, it's sitting right next to him. Frank opened up the window behind him and threw this old chair out the window. He just picks the chair up, opens the window, and throws it out. So keep in mind, guys, this isn't just like a drop the chair out the window. We're on the third story of our building, and there's construction going on behind us, and you can just hear this thing go down like clang, 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 just fall into the ground. So I kind of look over, I'm like, nah, nah, he didn't chuck this chair out the window. I look back again, like a double take, and the chair's just not there. I'm like, oh my god, he just threw this chair out of the freaking third story window. But this gets even better. Our substitute teacher doesn't notice. Like, he doesn't hear this thing clang to the ground. But everybody else in the class knew. Like, in a matter of two minutes, everybody knew what this kid had just done. So, to speed the story up a little bit for you guys, uh, let's fast forward to the next day. Alright, so it's the next day. It's third period again, Spanish class, and we still have a substitute. So, also sitting next to Frank's desk... There was a table, and on this table, there was a big box of school supplies. And this box didn't just have, like, maybe a glue stick and a couple pieces of paper. This thing was the jackpot. I'm talking, like, five pounds of just papers, assignments, glue, tape, anything, anything. You name it, it is in this box. So let's have everybody take a guess at what Frank does with this box. Yeah, I think you got it right. He picks this box up and tosses it out the window. Once again, the legend, the one and only, Frank. So we all kind of look at him. Just just look at him. And we look away like nothing happened. Our teacher, substitute, turns around, doesn't even notice it. It's like he just drops something, picks it up, turns back around. It's like nothing ever happened. And yes, this box isn't as loud as that chair thing, but this box is still pretty freaking loud. Five pounds worth of supplies crashing to the ground is still loud enough for you to hear. And honestly, I don't know how our substitute didn't hear it. Now as this day goes on, Frank becomes known as like a god. Everybody knows what he's done. They're like, wow, that guy's a legend. He just threw five pounds worth of supplies out the window and didn't get caught. So now it's the third and final day of this story. Frank is still known as a legend. It is third period Spanish class. Of course, we're going in, but our teacher is back today. So everything's going pretty normal. Our teacher hands us some assignment and we start working on it. So everything's going pretty normal. And then our teacher just randomly just starts typing super loud on his computer, like really fast, really loud. It sounded like this. No lie, that's exactly what it sounded like. I was sitting two desks away from him. That's what it sounded like. So then it gets even more weird. He just, like, hands out a pop quiz just on the spot. Like, this teacher sometimes gives pop quizzes, but it seemed like today he had some sort of motive. So whatever, we do the pop quiz, everybody hands it back, and then it gets even more weird. Our teacher just starts pacing around the classroom, just, like, really awkwardly, and then he stops and says this. Wow, I just love the view that I get from this classroom. 
when I look out the window, I can see the football field, the baseball field, and when I look down, I see all my stuff. So immediately after he says this, the kid who threw this stuff out the window stands up, guns blazing, punches our teacher twice, and just takes off. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. Our teacher just gave us a lecture. We're pretty sure he knew who it was, and we're pretty sure we know who snitched, but we're not positive yet. So yeah, I mean, that's it. Nothing else really crazy happened. There wasn't like an insane ending. He kind of just got suspended for two days, and then it ended. But anyways, guys, if you've enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. If we could hit 75 likes, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.